Hello and welcome back again. Um, today's little project we're going to look at one of these little things which is a bottle opener kit. Uh, it's a it's a three sided kit if you like. Um, it's got three little parts there so it can be used um, pretty much all the way around unlike some kits that have um, one part and just the two screws as has got the three screw section um, and the three lifting bits i don't know what you call them there's probably a proper name but i don't know what it is um, it is stainless steel there's a variety of ways you can do this um and and i know sometimes on the website we put it under the tab instructions i don't like to use the word instructions i'm not instructing anyone how to do it i'm going to suggest maybe a few ways that you can do it because everyone has different tools different skills and um all that kind of stuff and what one person does one way someone else might want to do something different so what i'm going to try to do today is a little bit on a drill um because these are stated as 36 millimeters actually they're fractionally under 36 millimeters the reason for which will become apparent in a few minutes um so we're going to have a look at a bit of drilling and we're also going to have a look at doing a bit of stuff on a lathe as well and it very much depends on the type of design that you want um, but the first thing to do is to make sure I don't lose the world's tiniest screws that come with it here um, take it out of the packet and then we'll look at what we can do to start with on a drill so this is just a test piece just to show you what we can do now I have got here a 36 millimeter Forstner bit um, it's a Bosch um, drill bit it is really good I have to say um, 36 millimeters isn't the most common of sizes but you can get them obviously because i've got one here so what i'm going to do is just show this in its simplest form 36 millimeter hole and then followed by use an horrible rusty old thing i've got here a 25 mil hole because you need a little bit of space behind um, the lips there that catch under the crown cap And you'll now see why it's made fractionally under 36 millimeters because that fits in there absolutely spot on um, what you do need to do is make sure when you drill that you leave enough space for the screws to go in because the screw heads will sit slightly above this little disc here um, if I can pull that out again I'm going to go in slightly deeper and then use the smaller drill bit all right so let's get this lined up again as I've said before on other videos, um, when you're using Forstner bits, um, always do the biggest one first and gradually get smaller, otherwise you won't be able to centre them. Uh, when I pull this out again you'll see that this has left a point for the centre of the next drill bit going down. There's the little bit you can little hole you can see there and we'll line this drill bit up with that there and take that out a bit further. So we can now pop that in there and you will see essentially what we've made is a bottle opener all we need to do now is just screw the three screws in there and, and that's it finished so I can then shape that in whatever shape that I want to do now that's obviously just using the pillar drill but some people like to turn them and make them round and obviously you can make all different shapes and sizes so we'll take that out and we'll have a look at how you could do this on a lathe if you don't have a 36 I've lost it now here we go if you don't have a 36 millimeter force in a bit because they're not cheap I think this was about 18 pounds for this one um, then you can obviously cut the discs out here on the wood on the lathe so let's go over and have a look and see how we can do that now if you have a chuck with some narrow jaws on it like this you can pop that 
um, on there on the 36mm and expand the jaws to grip your blank like that. I'm obviously not going to turn this because this is the wrong shape. This is just a piece of scrap. But you can see that holds it. The only disadvantage here is that you can't get to the little bit under there to shape it and polish it and finish it as you might want. That might not bother you because you're probably not going to see that side. Most of the side you're going to see is, is around the outside. But we're now going to have a look at um, cutting the, the centre out with lathe tools uh, and then a couple of ways that you could use to mount this to make um, a different shaped product on the lathe. Over to the lathe, what I've got here is um, a chuck and dovetail jaws and a lump of local walnut. So I'm guessing this is um, English walnut um, because it came from an English farm not far away, um, I think. What I'm going to do is just turn this roughly round and just get the end um, nice and flat and then we can look at turning the right size of this end and then we'll look at how we're going to mount it when we turn it around the other way. So it's roughly round, the end is roughly flat, if you haven't trimmed it off right to the centre you don't need to worry about that because we're actually going to drill that bit out anyway. Most important, you need to check that you've actually got a piece big enough to inset the bottle open, the stainless steel bottle opener part, which you can see, hopefully, I have um, on there. So we'll now look at measuring, marking and cutting out this bit here. I'm going to stress, if you have a drill bit, I would use a drill bit to do this because it'd be absolutely spot on. It will never be quite as accurate, or I probably won't be quite as accurate, cutting that with a lathe tool um, than I would if I was using a drill. But in order to show you how it's done, that's what I'm going to do now. Right, here we go. Here's a little bit of maths. If that is 36 millimetres that we need to make the hole for, uh, we actually need the radius, and I'm going to mark on a bit of wood uh, with my new dividers here. Um, so half of 36 is 18, so I'm going to measure 18 on here um, to get exactly, sorry, I'm busy looking at what I'm doing, not the camera. Uh, where are we? I think that's 18, I think that's 18 there, that looks about right to me. So I will now mark on here, if I can get that in the centre. So hopefully, that I, let me zoom in a little bit, I'm not sure whether the camera will quite pick that up. Let me adjust it. There we go. I do have the camera positioned, so hopefully when I'm doing the films you can see um, not only the top but also the end, because these are the two bits that we always do stuff at. Um, I know a lot of people film directly from above, but you don't really get to see what's going on at this end. And this is the important end for this kit. So I've marked that, uh, as you can see. I'm now just going to cut that out with um, a skew chisel, a small skew, and I'm just going to go in nice and straight um, and trim off some of the centre bit to make sure that I can actually fit this and the proof of the pudding is going to be how accurately I've actually done this. So I'll zoom out again otherwise my arms will probably be in the way of what I'm about to do. see if I've got it right. It's a bit big. It's way too big. Right, 
What I'm now going to do is re-measure it again, <laughs> cut this end flat and do it again. This is why I said to you, if you have a drill, use a drill because it'll be spot on right from the beginning. Right, let's start again. I think, I think I'm there, I think that's actually quite a good fit now. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is to look at taking more out of the centre to give us a space behind the disc. Um, before I do that, having got this in such a good fit, I can't get it out. Come on, you devil, there we go. Right, um, we're just going to trim this bit flat at the front. So the next bit we want to do is 25mm in the centre. Again, if you've got a drill, 25mm drills are quite common and not difficult or expensive, so I would normally use one. Um, for the purposes of this, I'll do it again manually and hope I get it right. So half of 25 is 12 and a half. Let's set these to... So again, we can have a look at the test fit on that. It's still just fractionally tight, not quite going down. I'm going to take a tiny bit more out, but you can see we've got the hole behind it, which allows the crown cap to catch on that bit there. You can see how fine a line it is when you do it manually to get it just right. I suspect I probably could push that um, into there if I wanted to. I probably wouldn't get it out again easily. Um, and I'm not going to do that because I need to show you the inside and what we're going to do with the inside in a few minutes. Hooray, there we go, that's in. Right, and you'll see, hopefully, if I zoom in again, I hope I haven't been filming the top of my head, um, that we've got space to put the screws into the wood behind, but we can't really see any of the wood. But the only bit that the crown cap is going to catch on is this little lip here. So the next thing that we need to look at, and I'll leave this out of here again, is how we're going to mount 
the rest of this and turn it around and then make the shape that we want and that again is going to depend on the tools that you have but before I do that I'm actually going to just shape and finish the bottom here just to tidy that off because you can see there's all um, flakes of wood on here so I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit now we've got the right inner sizes and then we can look at what we're going to do with the rest of it. Now is the point where we come to how we're going to remount this to get to this end to finish it off nicely. You could just cut it off and finish it by hand if you want to. But let's have a look at the options and the options very much depend on what equipment you have. You could buy some of our wood insert screws here, um, drill a hole in there, screw that in and you would then be able to mount it on one of our simple mandrels that we use for bottle stoppers. This goes in the chuck. You could, if you have, um, where's my other chuck that I showed you before, um, these are pin jaws on here, use the pin jaws and mount in here, and that's what I'm going to do. Alternatively, if you've got a chuck, which hopefully as a wood turner you have, you could drill a hole and even mount it on the wood, on the wood screw that will fit in the chuck there. Because what's going on in there, you're not going to see anyway. It's going to be all dark, so um, it doesn't really matter what goes on up there. But what I'm going to do, as I said, is change my chucks over and remount with pin jaws expanded into this little bit here. I'm going to have to be quite careful that I don't put too much pressure on and split the wood. Another one of my odd shapes. Move that camera just slightly so you can might be able to see a little bit better. Right. So making sure we tighten this to put the jaws together, we're now ready to put the disc in the bottom of here. Now what I'm going to do, hopefully, as you'll see, there we go. That's the disc in there. Now these, this then needs to be screwed in. I'm going to use one of our tiny little awls to make a hole just in the centre of the wood there. The wood is quite close to the edge of the hole um, which is why it's really better and um, my hole I think has actually gone slightly big here. If you use a 25mm drill bit you'll be spot on. I think mine seems to have enlarged slightly but I'm going to put the hole in the centre and then just screw the other bits, the other bits in. I'm going to do one hole at a time to start with. These are the world's tiniest screws and I may drop one whilst watching the camera. PH1 screwdriver, like so. And find your pilot hole and just screw very gently. They are small screws but you'll see when it comes to screwing them in here they actually look quite a size. And there we have one 
little mushroom shaped bottle opener. I'm not much of a beer drinker, I have to confess, but I will go and get, see if I can find a bottle to open it with. I'm more of a wine drinker, so um, but let me go and see if I can find one and then we'll see how it works. Now I confess, let me zoom out a little bit more, I confess I'm not really a beer drinker. The only bottle I can find is this bottle of cider which belongs to the wife and I've been strictly instructed not to open it. Um, but anyway, you can see the, um, the shape I've cut there with the bit screwed on the bottom there. It fits on at quite a sharp angle. I'll try and show you this without actually opening it. It fits, fits on at quite a sharp angle like so. Um, and you then obviously just leave it up. Um, but the thing that people do tend to do when they see something like that is think, what is it? It's just a mushroom. No, it isn't. It's a bottle opener. So there we have one little mushroom shaped thing that anyone looking at it would think was just a shape, but actually it's a bottle opener underneath. Um, as I said before, I'm, my apologies, I'm not opening this because the wife has instructed me not to open this. Uh, at the time of filming, we're in lockdown, COVID-19, so sadly I can't just go and buy um, a, a bottle of beer from the local shop and, and open it. Otherwise, I would do that to show you it actually working because the most important thing is to have things that work. But anyway, I hope I've shown you a couple of ways of doing it. Maybe giving you some ideas. If you have any questions, please ask. Always happy to help if we can. Until next time. Happy turning, happy making, and do it safely, of course. Stay safe. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.